lost and turned me into such all you could have me was lost And what I seem to grow and lost
No. I had a uh, bone in my mouth. We're good. Audio's live. Okay. Yeah. Uh, All right. In that case, welcome back everyone to the next session of Here Be Dragons. Who will be giving our recap as of last week? I don't know, but something's fishy. down of obviously obvious answers so, little kid goes magic man so she's good i want to talk to magic man you go over to talk to magic man uh magic man is busy and his little homunculus uh is being rather silly goes to fuck off goes to fuck off and tells us to fuck off then cheese mentions platinum the homunculus is very interested goes to get the master something blows up guy comes down eventually he's like hey so like, yeah, we just get down that thing. You got, got it. So they come, make the magic rope ladder. And so then it's like, oh, you got the ability to breathe on the water, my guys? And we're like, what told about this? Like, yeah, apparently it's flooded, you know? What are you going to do? We're like, all right, we're gonna go, all right. And he went, like, don't worry, I can make them for you. I'm like, cool. We're like, cool, that's awesome. And then it's like he's out of his state. He's out of these things called stalking catfish. Yeah, like stalking catfish are these big fucking creatures that, ch that can walk on land, eat cows, and sh and buy electricity from their body. Alright, where do they live? Well, you can get some of the sewers. So we go down to the sewers. <clears throat> we start looking for a little bit, sneaking around. Eventually, we fucking find one. Now, we found one. I sneak around a little bit. Uh, fucking Sapphire shot in the head, and we're in combat. Mm-hmm. Also, oh, shit. Fish! Shadow, one of these days, you're going to need to give me my goddamn character sheets for my familiars. Um, that probably would be a good idea, wouldn't it? Uh. Because they're supposed to go on, they're supposed to have their own turns in initiative. That's why I don't actually use them. I gotcha. I, I will have to fix that after the session. <clears throat> okay. So... Jumping right into the uh, turn order, uh, Vanelli is actually up first, who I'm going to run as an NPC with Knight not here. He's going to go right here, and he's going to reach down and try and stab the fish, because he can just barely do that. Uh, can, can we say skip for the head? Can you what? Can we say in for the head? Sure. I don't have to. Head. Yeah, I just have to figure out how to fix the bowl for his. There we go. God, I don't have a good damage type for this scenario. Uh, frost? Eh, I guess. I cold. I always call it frost. I don't know why. I, I call it ice damage, so yeah, I, I, I get it. I get you. I get you. <laughs> Where is his roll to hit? There it is. No, that's not it. Uh, well, that's not good. Oh, there it is. Navigating character sheets. It's a pain. Huh? When you navigate else navigating character. a character sheet, it's not yours. Yeah, that hits. Yeah, yeah some reason. You, you know how to navigate a cat sheet, and you start navigating someone else's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah someone else's like, uh... Especially with the handwritten one, because they write it in their own <laughs> style. You're like, what the fuck's going on? Yeah. Uh, I would feel so sorry if anyone read through any uh, handwritten uh, character sheets I would have made, because uh, my handwriting, oh, schools yeah. don't teach you how to write nice and neat. They teach you to write fast. And Yep. They reward you if you write... <laughs> Right there. All right. Yeah, but Godspeed if you learn that. While so trying to next write up, notes. Lesla is Lesla. Yep. Lesla. I am, because weird ways that interactions actually work. 
I'm gonna move over here and double check my range. I'm being pretty sure I'm in range. Yeah, I'm gonna hit it with a frostbite. So, uh, da, 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 da. Con save. It has to make a con save. DC 14. Okay. That was a one. And, and that gives a disadvantage if it fails, correct? Correct. I have one damage. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> what happened? This is why it's... Have... Yeah. We're better off somehow freezing the water. At least around it. Okay, if you can if you can bring a bunch of sewer water, which I believe, ha because of its high contents, is harder to freeze than normal water. Could be my fucking guess. I mean, shape water don't care about that. Uh, what's no, the DC? <laughs> 14. 14. 14, DC 14. Uh, I broke, rolled a 17. Okay, great. Takes no damage. This is the low, low level wizards. This is our fucking curse. It's, we have cantrips. Yeah. <laughs> we love them, though. Because all our low level spells are reserved for using is abjuration the, uh, magic. Is that the end of your yes, turn? Yes, that's the end of my turn. Or you just all right. be me, or you just be my cat. You just never cast me. I'm gonna Jeez. just stay in the back. Well, hello. <laughs> all never... right. How far am I? All right. Good. You're in range. I figured that you were, but just in case. Um. Yep. He's big fish. Big fish. Uh, I would like to cast Toll the Bed, Toll the Dead on Big Fish. Toll the Bed. <laughs> Toll the Bed. Uh, Toll okay. the Bed. Get that thing to sleep. <laughs> Uh, he has to make a DC 14 wisdom saving throw. Okay. That is, uh, that is a little bit harder for him. It's a fish. It's a fish. You know, I thought about taking Toll of the Dead today. I thought about Wizards it. Get it? Wizards get it, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's sorcerers who don't. I mean, sorcerers who don't. They get fucked on most cantrips, actually. I got, I got pissed because I had a. I had an idea for a character. I couldn't ha do it because I didn't get fucking over there. Uh, he succeeds. Oh, wow. Alrighty. That is a um, 20. Okay. He, I believe it is a... It's all, It's all, not like half damage or anything. No. Cantrips yeah. are always all or nothing. Yeah. Unless you have a yep. uh, ability. Yeah. Yep, 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 yeah, yep. I think, I think it's clerics that get that ability. Evocation wizards. Uh, is evocation wizards. Oh, really? Evocation? Okay. Um, yeah. Makes that kind of I'm going to move better. one space forward, and that will be my turn. I don't have any okay. wild shape. Any of my wild shapes would not help in this situation. Be, a, be a bear. Go fishing. I, I don't think I want to get electrocuted right. as a bear. Well, I, have a que I have a question. Mm -hmm. This is a surprise room. What was it? This is a surprise round. Um, no, that would be when Sapphire just shot it. Okay. Um, I'd check, because boy gets extra damage on surprise rounds. Uh, oh, it's on the first, on the, against creatures that haven't acted yet, I believe. No, 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 no. It's specifically on creatures that are surprised. Yes. Uh, the, okay. the, the first round of combat against creatures that are surprised. It's very specific. It is very specific. That's why it's a surprise condition, not surprise round. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Well, he hasn't acted yet. He hasn't acted yeah. yet. I, I would say until he acts, he would be kind of surprised. Oh. Okay, so boy is an assassin. I, I also like well, how... In, in this case, that is. I also like how Sapphire rolled the, uh, the worst on the initiative. Yeah, yeah. That was unfortunate. My redo, I think, was better. No, my redo was actually worse. I can move diagonally. Yes, because D and D five the diagonally is still five feet. <laughs> well, it's all yeah. I learned, I'm reading it's optional. I, I always do it as five feet because calculating it without it diagonals being five feet just makes it so complicated. So that's yeah, which is thirty feet. 
Uh, that also does still get the benefits of light, which is good. I mean, I just need to be. I, he just needs to be in the dim light. So. You need to see him. That's all you. Need. Yeah. You can just be in darkness. You're fine. As long as nothing goes for you, you're fine. I'll see. Um, I'll pull out. Pull out my little, my little knife. Okay. Roll to stab fish. Roll to stab the fishy. Hit the fish. That is definitely a success to hit the stab the fish. Okay. The fish. Do you just the fish stabbed. Yes, do psychic damage to the fish. Yeah. Alright. I don't know why, but I'm suddenly depressed. Why? <laughs> because it's psychic damage. <laughs> okay. I, I thought you were like, talking about like, yourself. Yeah, I'm like, like, what the heck? Heck? <laughs> It's like, of course, did more damage than me. I'm depressed. <laughs> yeah, uh, like magic dagger. Uh, I thought you did more damage. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, is boy gonna move? Wait, wait. No. That's right. I, sorry, my brain. I was like, I saw plus seven when that can't be right. And then I remember proficiency. Um. Oh yeah, boy will move. I just, I was gonna wait too long. Um. But, yeah, cause that's 20 feet. Uh, and I'm gonna bonus action. The uh, scores is like, do I need to uh, expend a lot of energy for this? He doesn't really think so. I haven't reset my key point. Uh, no reason. Let's do that apparently. Um, bonus action. Uh, <laughs> punch in the head. <laughs> Okay. Uh, seventeen. That is a hit. Okay. okay. You guys are just uh, wailing on this thing. I hadn't even yes. gotten to, to do anything boy, yet. Boy is going to uh, going to bite it in the head. Going for the head. Okay. And we we'll say he gets his. He'll okay, get a sneak attack, yeah. yeah. It's advantage because it's pack attack. Hmm. Yeah, arr, arr, they're, 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 they're group hunters, like wolves. They're a little smarter yeah. than wolves. He gives it Actually, a nice two. big chop. Why did it set his intelligence to 10? His intelligence is 4. Uh, and it's just selected. I is un. Hey, crit. That is a crit. Okay, so boy, does uh, that's that's one d six. That's that's two d six. And then the two d six plus the five attack becomes four d six. That's six d six plus one. I don't know how to roll this stat block. It just I click it, it and it will auto roll. The I crit. did it wrong. Oh, did you? I did this wrong. Uh, <laughs> then just I roll a uh, six d six plus plus four. whatever his modifier is. He's a he's low plus one. Plus okay, he gets the this one. 66, 66, oh, that's 27 damage. That's okay. not insignificant. No, that is... Yeah, um, it's, it's not looking like, so good. It's almost like Corvus is in the drink designed for ambush attacks. <laughs> you know, it's amazing how often we do that, but how little the drink actually gets to hit. He never gets to do it. Yeah, we never get surprise rounds because someone has to aggravate everything, or someone fails their stealth check, and then everyone's fucked. Uh, I'd say it's a fish, so Claus doesn't feel like he has to run away. So I'm gonna say Claus actually stays here. And then area effect attack. Yeah, it's like, but that's like Claus. He's not thinking like that. He's thinking. Fish. Swallow attack. Right. Swallow attack. Speaking swallow attack. Speaking of the fish's team, uh, well, it is the fish's turn. And, uh, what it's going to do swallow, swallow, is swallow. it's, first of all, going to, uh, okay, it's just sure go I ahead and roll this. this. It has full intelligence. Intended. Hmm? Oh, I'm just, I was okay. Oh, okay. So the fish is going to do 
two things. First of all, it's gonna roll for this. Uh, let's see, does a 20 hit boy? Uh, let me check. Just missed the show. Okay. Um, so... No, it definitely fucking is. Yeah. Boy <laughs> is going to take 12 damage. Oh no, boy. And he Ow. has to roll a, uh... No, he doesn't. He he doesn't roll. He gets knocked twenty feet back and prone. Boy, away from no. the fish. It's a good thing there's peer behind him. Uh, let's check. Hit point takes twelve damage. You say twelve damage and gets knocked back uh, twenty feet and prone. Ouchie. Boy's bloodied. All right, and then it is uh, going to. Uh, one. 20 feet and prone. 3, 4, 5, 10. Make him sideways. Okay. Or actually upside down. Yeah, <laughs> he's on his back. <laughs> and then uh, it is going to look over to Corvus. Yeah. Uh, no prone one. I can't find the prone one. Um. Uh. Back pain one. We'll say back pain because I don't know the back. Uh, does a 14 hit your AC? It does not. Alright, that is a miss. As it uh, reaches out one of its little barbels and it uh, a zap of electricity goes uh, arcing by you and into the wood harmlessly. Shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, what did it do? It tried to zap it. Oh, jeez. It... Uh. I tried taser and Corvus. Taser. Fortunately, Corvus is a summon. So and then it's taser. going to, because you hit it really bad and it doesn't like that, it's going to move away. Yes, he will get an attack of opportunity. Oh, yes. So is Liari. Not Liari. Yep. You know. Not Liari. Banali. Okay. It's going to move right here. So go ahead and roll. Back up. Bad one. Not ones. That is a hit. Okay, nice. Yeah. Okay. This was supposed to be a boss. Well, that's what happens when a fucking ambush Drake crits. Yeah, no kidding. Jeez. You were nice hey, You guys to were hurting it really bad before it. that. But you were yeah. nice to me and I made you pay for it. That's kind of what I do. <laughs> I mean, that's D&D &D in a nutshell. Well, yeah, it's, it's, not, it's because I don't think you pay in any illegitimate evil way. It's just, I was willing to say, that's why I was willing to not have that happen. <laughs> I just felt forced to. And Damn. Vanilli also hits. For a lot of damage. Okay, it, it really does not look good. Come on, Sapphire, finish it off in the round. Next up is Sapphire. Yeah, I could still see it from where I am, so I'm going to steady aim to get myself to still, Yeah, it's, it's still in bright light. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to give it that sweet, sweet advantage. That definitely hits. For minus 13. It is still up, Aww. but it really does not Yo. look good. <laughs> I tried. Never. It, it is thrashing around in the water. Blood filling the sewers. I mean, po probably, but it's hard to tell considering they're already gunk as it is. I could have Vanali go. I don't honestly know if he has any ranged attacks. Knight only has one weapon on the sheet. <laughs> then that means he doesn't. I think it's so. I'm just gonna say he just stays there. He holds his it's gonna... in case it gets. Oh, he can move. Exactly. Here. Move here in case it moves. Get up. Get up. I don't think it's going to get a chance to. I'm okay. gonna Could be real honest a... with you all. It's... Could he throw a loose rock? <laughs> um, I don't think he's proficient in rock. I'm just gonna get let let uh, Lesla go. 
Right. We, we, we need a knight comment. Yeah, making the melee character have to fight at range. This is a so CR nice. six monster. <laughs> have them dive into the water. It's fine. Well, when you get a when you get like a little surprise round, you can really fuck over a high level one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, you well, so for it. <laughs> All right. Uh, so Lesla will. Uh... So I think they they count the CR as you're, you're fighting this thing in the water. Even then, if we had swimming stuff. If we had swimming stuff, I mean, you know. Yeah. Well, still doesn't get disadvantage if he attacks with dagger. Only if he attacks with fist. Yeah. Fuck out the water. But, uh... Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, most spell casting, anything that requires a verbal component, if you can't breathe underwater, you can't cast. But yeah. Which is most of my spells. Yeah. I really like that verbal component. Ah, oh, fuck it. I might as well try and end this here. Magic missile. Okay. Aim for the head. Aim for the head, Elva. Well, it always hits. Ah, oh, God. Uh, okay. So that is uh, six damage. Okay. Wow. It is still up. Yeah, well, fuck it. Uh, just... Yeah, no, I bet if I had rolled a fucking two, it would have been fine. Oh, uh, well. Okay. That's, um, that's me. I don't think you could have killed it with magic missile, actually. Well. Gu guess what spell I'm gonna cast, guys? Ice knife? <laughs> Toll the dead. Toll the dead. Alright. All right. Uh, it needs to make a DC 14 wisdom saving throw. Alright. DC 14 wisdom save. Can it succeed again? Can it get to act the second time? That is a nat 20. Oof. Oh, nice. fuck off! Yeah. <laughs> I, I will screenshot it and send it to you if you want me to. Oh, no, we trust no, you. No, I'm not, I'm not mad at... I'm not... I believe you 110%. It's just I'm mad. <laughs> um, she's just gonna move... She's gonna move onto the edge right here. Can this count as, like, a corner? Can she move right yes, there? Yes, that's fine. Okay, she's gonna move on that corner. Jump on it, Corvus. Uh, and that will be my turn. That's what I'm doing, motherfucker. Yeah! Well. yeah. <laughs> That's all well, that bitch! Uh, all right. Corvus. Okay. I move here. 35 feet of, 35 feet of movement, right? Uh-huh. I drop the torch. Uh-huh. It's dead now on the floor. I grab my other dagger. I Cowabunga! I, because uh. I had... Because I interact with objects. Dropping out object is free action. And because I have run, I can jump 10 feet. I jump into the water <laughs> at its head. And first attack is with special dagger. I attack before I hit the water. What's I the minimum damage you can do with that dagger? Four, one. Four, five? Four, one, three, so eight. Okay, roll the hit. It's dead. Oh. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> the emotional fireball is an utter horror. You've never seen Corvus so alive. <laughs> go, go ahead. Uh, inform us how you bonsai tackle this fish. <laughs> run around the corner to just see Boy get launched, narrowly avoiding an electrical bomb. Turn around the corner. As he gets to that point, there's a skip jump. Drops the, the torch. There's a skip jump, grabbing his other dagger. <laughs> and with a, it doesn't do like a cry, but there's almost like a a roar of ex ex exertion. <laughs> he just jabs both daggers into this thing's head and disappears under the water <laughs> uh, for like five seconds before emerging, holding the thing. I so the water itself is about four feet deep. Oh, I swear oh it's my four dog. Feet deep? Then I can actually stand up on the rest. Yeah. Cor Corvus, please roll the damage just so I can see it. Okay, okay. I'll roll down. It's just... This is what happens Pretty when damaging. you mess with Boy. Yeah. 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 That's You almost did as much damage as Boy did. Jesus. Yeah. 
I can do that without any casting. Uh, Cheese is gonna offer her hand to Corvus to help him get out of the muddy water uh, after Corvus he grabs the catfish. Is taking Cheese's hand, tries to hand with a fish. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big fish. Cheese, Cheese will try to take it. Actually, how he how how heavy is the fish? Because yeah. Lesla might be the only one that can carry lighter. it. A little lighter in the water. Let's get it out of the water. Oh no, no, Lesla can't even carry the fish on her own. Oh jeez. Yeah. I might okay, need I some help with this I thing. Uh, I guess the girls are gonna. <laughs> now, now remember, you did, you did, uh, you were told you need a specific part of it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Also. Uh, but so Corvus wants stuff. Says that the meat is good and will be sold, and boy's gonna get up and easily flip over. Poor boy. Oh boy, come here. Do I know what magic? She's. she's a... Go ahead. Um, Cheese is going to put a hand like on Boy's cheek, and she's going to cast Cure Wounds. Oh, fuck off! Oh. Five. Jeez, five. That's not bad. That's nice. He's above bloody. It's like half. Roll the one. I mean, that's about half of what always... you took, so that's not too bad. Yeah. yeah, I just always consistently roll super low on healing rolls. Uh, yeah, uh, I mentioned once Corvus. We get this thing up onto the land bit, uh, of course, because mm -hmm. wrapping rope around it so we can carry it more easily. Well, before you wrap it, you may wish to take the gills out. I suppose. I was hoping to clean it for this. Also, it's a skinning knife. This is another knife. This is a smaller knife than the other knife. I'll, I'll take back the gills. Is that a check, Shadow Knife to make? To harvest it? Yes. Okay, uh, is it less? Is it 8? DC 8 or less? Um. I would say no, it's gonna be a little bit harder than that. Okay, um. Can I, everyone here, I'm getting them to hold it steady, an advantage? I, I'm I'd say so, yeah. I'd say that's fair. Yeah, she's just helping him out. Sapphire will help out as well. Get that. Nice. That's more than enough. Hunter does hunting. The hunter does hunting! So, so, not, so with, with that role, not only are you able to harvest the gills, you are also able to harvest the uh, barbels, which you can tell still faintly buzz with, an, with a charge. I, as a hunter, would I know any anywhere I could? Would I have to give these what, an alchemist the best price, or would it be like I can give them to someone they can do something with? Them? You have... might be able to uh, get someone to do something with this. You're not sure what you could do with them yourself, right. but you know that monster parts like this, they're pretty well sought after because, uh, well, yeah, you you can do things with them. All right. If you know uh, how. You just don't know I, what that would be. I know where to go. You have an idea. Okay. I'll use that. And also, uh, of course, is going to attempt to carry this thing because he wants to sell the meat. Using boy's okay. help, of course. We, we, we're using a rope technique that we used. A rope technique, we put the bed, we put the bed roll underneath, we tie it around so we can slide it across the ground without damaging the meat. Very practice technique that we've practiced over many years. I think up the lad's gonna be a bitch though. Hmm. Shadow. Yes. Would I be able to make a ring of swimming out of some of the monster components? Probably not this one. Hmm. Not a magical swimming. It's not. It, it, this is a considered a monstrosity. Okay. Or a, uh, yeah, a monstrosity. Okay. Or just an, a actually, it'd just be an animal. It's a beast? It's a beast. Yes. Cheese. Peace. Burn mm. it. Stabbing it. Oh, I can turn into a... Well, she just needs to see yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. So this is a CR6. 
Oh, that's that's I very can't turn late. into that yet. Oh, 18, yeah. Yeah. That means you have a really powerful swimming creature, which is normally you don't have. So the most powerful thing you can turn into is like a giant shark. It's like a sh giant shark. Jaws, let's go. Yeah, like Cheese like looks three. over this monstrosity. I'm just like, I've never liked fish. Hmm. Apparently the meat that the ones the meat by the was completely missed on the animals. So I, I, I will I will go ahead and send you the uh the stats for this cheese so that you will have it later. Really very later. <laughs> yeah, level, level eight. Very, very, very later. Um <laughs> it is actually immune to lightning damage. I figured so, it was immune uh, to lightning really damage. Good. That's why I didn't use shucking grass. Did you said it, it in the light, uh, can you send it in the player secrets just so I can have easier access to it? I will it do that. I, I will do that in a little bit. I'll say, as, oh, as, as, if, I imagine others might help us get this up out of this. Yes. <laughs> yeah. um, I think, like, you're one to take the gills. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll see what I can get. Um, sure. Although, you may wish for someone that is a bit more persuasive than yourself to go with you. I know around these parts of the hunt. Yes, but the art of trade is something that I have studied. That's a bad. Lesla, well, I'll say this: Corvus won't stop you. Yeah, Lesla doesn't trust Corvus uh, to get the best price because the best, price he... the best price he could get, but not the best price that could be gotten because no, of course, Corvus is a nice businessman. Because, <laughs> because especially because as far as she's seen, Corvus is not very personable. Personable, yeah. Personable. Um, <laughs> then I suppose Sapphire and I can take the gills back to the alchemist. Artificer? He's an artificer? Artificer, yes. You would assume so, yes. Time to split the party in a way we don't usually split it. Yep. I don't think I don't think us we have ever like been alone together. No. Not for an extended period of time. This is, this is an odd dynamic. This, this is gonna be very concerning. Hell yeah! yeah friends, two people. Now the question is No enough stuff's happened to where Sapphire probably isn't going to remember to question <laughs> the I'm sorry you died? That or like this is not the right time. Maybe over drinks. <laughs> this is not the right time to ask about you dying. Me, I am evil. Just I'm like, just kidding. Out of fucking nowhere. It's just like, I feel like death, and I've already done that once. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> All right. Off to see the alchemist. So yeah, you're gonna head back and uh, talk to him. The mm -hmm. alchemist whose name you actually never got. Yeah, yeah. Part of me feels bad about that. But only part. Mm -hmm. On Sapphire part. So let's go ahead and just go move this everyone off of this uh, <coughs> map. Yippee! As you all make your way back, it is still a little bit later in the day. It didn't take you all too long to do that, truthfully. Yeah, of course not, because we got, a, you know, a hunter with us and some powerful people. Yeah. But you head back, and uh, you, can, you can see there is now a distinctive lack of smoke hanging in the air around this little tower. At least that got cleared up. Hello, Mr. Alchemist. 
Uh, he is not outside the building. Uh, knocking on the door. To the door. You you once again hear the signal thump 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 thump, and then the door open. What you are? Oh, it's you. Hello. <laughs> At the same time. Uh, I'll be honest, yes. that's one of the reasons why Lessa wanted to go to Corvus. I'll go get the master. Thank you. Just slams the door in your face. You hear it thump, I almost thump, got thump, my thump, nose. Off. You okay? Very close. I'm fine. That's good. That's uh. You did very well. After a few moments, you hear uh, once again, someone come to the door. This time, not the uh, the rapid thump 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 of small feet, but a uh, rhythmic walk of uh, heavier footfalls. As the uh, alch the alchemist you've met comes to the uh, door and opens it up. Uh, I see. Did you manage to get the gills? We have. I don't know who's carrying them. Ah, uh, cheese will. Okay. She's just hands over, like un, like it's not even wrapped or anything. She just hands over the gills. Oh, yeah. Not yeah, even yeah. in like bunch of paper, or, like cloak or anything. Almost didn't wrap anything. Well, I just give it to you. <laughs> yeah. It was right. really disgusting in the sewers. Well, they are oh, yeah. the sewers of Waterdeep. How bad so. does Corvus smell? Uh, yes. Yeah. The answer is yes. Okay, perfect. I'll say cheese. Cheese on the way back cast prestidigitation on herself oh, and nice. Sapphire. I much appreciate okay. that. Understandable. Sapphire would have thanked you for that. Are these okay? Uh, they'll do just fine. It will take me some time to brew up a new potion, but yes, this should work splendidly. Will this be enough for all of us? I don't see why it wouldn't be. Okay. And... Oh, goodness, what was the other thing I wanted to ask you? Oh, I forgot, it's fine. Oh, yes, I remember now. How long will this take? Um, only a few hours. Ah, okay. Thank you very much, sir. That's no trouble at all, really. I suppose we'll make our way back in a few hours then, Mr... I'm sorry, I don't think they uh, caught your name. Yes, uh, I would be, uh, Klaus. Uh, yes, uh, Klaus GM has to remember his last name. Give me a moment. <laughs> I would also like the spelling of that. He doesn't oh, need GM a last name. Remember that as well. He doesn't need a last name. You don't need to get it. He can just be Klaus. You don't need to give your last name all the time. Uh, uh last yeah, name basis of everyone. He would. Yes. Uh, Klaus von Veritol. Uh, at your service. On. Sapphire Elder Crown. The pleasure is mine. I am called Blue Cheese. And Cheese will curtsy. He seems to be taken aback at that, but um, he recovers quickly. Um, it's a pleasure to meet both of you for the first time. Klaus von... Vertol. Oh, he's typing it, the name. Oh, Doc. Let's, let's see how close my notes are. <laughs> the name. I think every single time I've been given a name, I've spelled it incorrectly, so... Ah, oh, no! Oh, I, 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 again, I spelled it wrong. Jesus Christ. I I missed it by... Two letters. Uh, there's there's oh, one. Oh, I didn't hear the very tall. I didn't hear the i. I, I also hear didn't I. hear the e. So I missed the i, and I swapped the a for an o. And Klaus, I was that <laughs> close. Um, was there anything else I could help you with in the meantime? Uh, Nothing that quite comes to mind, unless you happen to know 
although I th- out of character remind me if this was answered last time if he knew about any of the what we might face in the underdark um in the uh, dungeon down there he yeah. does not know okay never mind then it does change from time to time yeah. even though he has mapped it pretty extensively mm-hmm. who knows isn't the whole thing like Halaster likes to change it so that no one can actually map it yeah Again, your help is most appreciated. We'll be back in a few hours. Uh, Very well. Uh, Once again, uh, thank you very much for aiding me in finding these materials. You're helping us, so we're helping you. Bye. I thought you'd say consider it payment. <laughs> he, uh, this, this is what happens when Leslie and Cora's on there. <laughs> he, he nods and uh, heads back inside. Well, uh, Chief, I suppose we should probably find Corvus and uh, Lesla and, I guess, Finale. Or well, we could wait for them to join us. I mean, this is the only real entrance that we know of. True. We don't know where they go. I don't know where they're going, other than selling things. Yeah. And so... to be honest, please don't make me go back into the city. I don't want to go back after that. Okay. Okay. You've convinced me. Thank you. What do you want to do in the meantime, then? Oh, sit and look at the sun. <laughs> and she will just, like, go out into an empty patch and just lay flat on her back in the grass. <laughs> Sapphire will follow. Well, we are going to be missing it for, um, I don't know how long, so she gives a thumbs up as she follows her lead. I wish the gods would remove my sense of smell. I, I wish I could say that... you're used to it, but that would be a lie. I, I, I hope someday that I can bring you to my home. It smells so much cleaner. I can only imagine. Haven't really gotten the chance to smell much of, uh... different areas before, so... Would be a nice change of pace. It's a lovely clean forest with a hot spring. And a beautiful grotto with lovely mushrooms and... Oh... I've never been to a hot spring before. It sounds nice. Oh, it's wonderful. It's wonderful for your skin. How do you think I look so young? I mean, I thought you were young. I'm nearly 30. You do not look it. I know. Honestly, I thought uh... you were more my age. How old are you? 23? Oh, goodness. The years have not been kind. <laughs> like a day over 27. <laughs> <laughs> That's by half elf standards. Yeah. Age much lower. All right, as you for Lesla <laughs> and Thank Corvus. You. Uh, Corvus will ask Lesla because he knows she can. Yes. Uh, course we'll think we gotta get the meat as quickly, and then we'll get these bobs sort of afterwards. Course is going to using his knowledge of inns and taverns find one he thinks is appropriate spelling of this ID hall. Um, would Lesla know if? considering where she spends most of her time when she's not, you know, actually doing shit. Uh, would she know if this would be considered exotic uh, d- exotic meat or exotic Agent fish? Would be, is, da- is dangerous meat. Yeah, dangerous, yes. Um, so it has a better, it has a better value because it's a hard thing to hunt. Mm-hmm. So that, you know what? Hmm. I can make a history check. check. Would that be? Yeah, uh, I think so. 
When it comes to knowledge of animals, you could go with like knowledge of society, which is usually history. Yeah. You could go knowledge of the animal, but she doesn't know what this animal is. I don't know the animal, right. but I'm going by history, by basically the culture. Like, where would exotic or dangerous it's things? The meat of a dangerous creature that's mm -hmm. hard to hunt. It's not necessarily rare because it's literally in their sewers, but but hard to hunt. Yeah. So basically, I'm trying to figure out. Based on the culture of Waterdeep, where would be the best place to sell this? Would it be to an open meat vendor, or would it be... Just a tidy check, I usually go for, like, history. Yeah. That would be my suggestion. So, argue survival? Because that's knowledge of the... That's knowledge of the... Yeah. Again, I'm going at this from a cultural perspective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. I'm just trying to help Shadow. Hmm. Yeah, I think this would be, I think this would be history most likely. All right. Hmm. Yeah, this is going to be uh, uh fuck it, next check. Uh, figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> I do like alternative. God use. damn it! I have not rolled high today. I think I've rolled. You got my luck. I. I, your luck. I you probably stole my luck because I usually roll really high. Yeah, I've, I've been rolling really well. I've rolled a I've one, a two, and a two. Hmm. I think if, if so, if just you're not it. familiar with this being served anywhere. It's not something you've ever seen. They really don't have them in the Silver Marshes. Mm. It's too far north for them. Yeah. They also, to your knowledge, primarily live deep underground. The Underdark is their primary home. Mm hmm. Well. But there is a, quite a few connections from the Underdark to uh, water. below Waterdeep, so it's not surprising you... that you would find them. Latest. What was that? I'm talking, I'm talking to Rack. Yeah. Was it to, whatever, she said it to Quarter to keep it to herself. No, no, she's um she 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 she's a talk out loud type person. Uh, Lessa right. will say is. Hmm. Since this is primarily an underdog creature, it is quite hard to hunt and is relatively exotic, although Waterdeep does have more access to the underdog than most places. I would say that if we were to find a proper inn, it could sell for quite a lot as an exotic dish. What say you? Underdark preference, dangerous nature of it. It would sell for uh, as of it. And what I've been told, what I know, it can cost hundreds to the right person. Let's say we might want to go a bit more upper establishment. Hmm. I am if we want a better brass. I am in agreement. And we might want to move quick. Actually, it's autumn, so it's not too warm. So we don't need to worry about too much. It was a hotter day. Well, my my suggestion is we go sell this to Lara's work. It's good. Like, that's a good one. Would I have any connections there? No. No. But I don't really know any of the folk in that place. Hmm. Not to worry. I'm sure they're very well aware of me. At the very least. Um, just when you are mentioning anything, make sure you mention you're not part of the uh, butcher's guild. Make sure that's something you mention. Hmm. You no, know, because uh, the guild controls all meat purchases in the city. So, uh, with himself, people like me can sell for a bit cheaper. These were more people are more willing to do business. When they, don't, when they know they won't have to pay the fixed prices. Alright, well, let's, uh... uh sure. We'll, yeah, if, if we'll go to the Lara's place. Corvus will... try to get some of the gunk... Because I think Corvus has enough self-awareness to know, yeah, I should probably get this gunk cleaned off. Press the digitation. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah, uh, Corvus makes sure the fish is proper. He, I think Corvus even like wipes down the scales a little bit to make it look a little shinier. Mm -hmm. um, make sure to hide all the uh, psychic wounds. 
luckily he wants to know everyone to hit the head, so the head's gonna be damaged and the head's gonna get cut off. Yeah. I feel like yeah, and then Gomez was just a head up there with Les and boy, and I imagine it's a, uh, no, sorry, him boy, and I imagine Les were helping to spring through town. And there's almost I, I imagine with Lesla, there's almost a sense of pride to Corvus. Doesn't normally walk hold himself with when he's walking. Like he's proud of his because you get the feeling Corvus is proud of his hunting prowess. <laughs> he's walking a bit taller, a bit more you know, back back's a bit more straight, he's a bit almost more dignified. Good for Corvus. Hey Shadow. <laughs> you wanna know who's with us that we completely forgot about? Who? Zarfea. Uh, she, she, she fucked off somewhere. I don't know where she went. <laughs> she was with us? Yeah, she was with us when we went into... When temple. we got the... Yeah, she, she was with she us at the temples. Just... No, Shadow never described what happened to her. No, she did She did come with you to the temple when that... Uh, was pretty clear that this was not going to help her out. She decided to go somewhere else. Okay. I fucking love, I fucking love her. She's maybe like a fucking 16-year-old. I mean, uh, that's basically what she is. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Alright, we head to North. Uh, not too much. There's a little bit of it. Yeah, that should be too bad. Yeah. We, uh, Corvus also... Actually, this is a nicer establishment, but there might be someone... Corvus will mention that he's talking, but normally he prefers to go in the back, because if you go in the front, people see the exchange. Yeah, yeah. And they're more likely to try... If there's anyone scouting the place, they might try to rob you. Mm -hmm. I mean, he prefers to go in the back, but he basically says maybe Lesha should go around front, let them know because he doesn't know this establishment, so let them know to come around the back to get it. Yeah, well, I mean, Lesha will go in the front because she does need to make the negotiation and say, Well, my uh, partner has it around back if you wish to examine it. Uh, so, yeah, so she'll go. He also says, He also almost, almost emphasizes, he's like, No. Oh. Don't try to haggle too high. I want to do repeated. If we can get we can get our hands on more of these, we want repeated bids. Hmm. Don't go as high as you possibly can. Be more willing to lower your price. You said how much yes. are they sold for it's from the butcher's guild? And then on the right sale, you can get hundreds. So if one this size. You're gonna have to help me out here, because <laughs> Corvus would know. He's really he's good at pricing shit. I'm um, for this it if this were a normal animal, with how large it is, yeah, you could potentially expect fifty gold. Cool. But this is not a normal animal. This is not a normal animal. So depending on what they want for it, depending on whether or not it's a good eating fish. Because you you know people do eat them, you don't know how desirable that is. Okay. If it's not a good eating fish, then that might be about what you get for it. If it is considered to be a good eating fish, who knows? It could be a lot more. Alright, so Corvus goes... It could be as much as four times that. Yeah, Corvus goes... If it's used to this size, the meat is good quality as it is. About 50 gold would be normal, but due to its uh, nordic nature, and depending on whether this is a good eat, go up to more times that. So around 200 gold, so maybe start bidding around 150. Hmm. Hello, make sure you mention what it is. Make sure they don't. Try to pretend it's not me. And I don't have faith. Uh -huh. At which point, less level, think about it. And they, right. Yeah, we go back, boy, and of course, go around back. Yep. Wait for it to be picked up. Alright, <laughs> less level will uh, go around the front and uh, go ask to see the person responsible for purchasing food. Okay. I love this little adventure. It's great. So, you walk up to the uh, the one person you see working there. It's a rather stout-looking halfling woman. Of all she uh she kind of looks you up and down. 
you've got some food you want to be selling us. Uh, yes, my compatriot and I are of the Mithril Scales. And we recently were uh, required to hunt down a, and correct me on the name, Stalker Catfish? Stalking. Stalking Catfish. Uh, required to hunt a stalk, stalking catfish. We only required certain parts of it that won't affect the uh, taste of the meat at all, just the gills, which are usually taken out al already. And we were wishing, because we have, uh, we have uh, been patrons of this establishment before, we wish to give back to it somewhat and I was hoping to sell the meat of the fish to you. I can't say I've ever heard of a stalking catfish, but I can go ask the boss. Hmm. You wait right here a moment. We have for it to be a drow. We have for it to be a fucking drow. <laughs> Stalking catfish? <laughs> Fuck yeah! <laughs> I'm actually expecting it to be no. a wood elf. <clears throat> oh, I'd be, I'd be also nice, because they're hunters, they respect the hunt. So after a while, uh, out the, who, the individual comes walking out as a uh, rather heavy set, older looking dwarf. <sighs> what? Fuck. Dwarf? <laughs> he uh, he well he walks with a hobble as he like gets out his cane and walks over to you, kind of scratching deal his with, beard. Deal with dwarves. Fuck. Okay. Mm. Oh, so. <laughs> oh, and kind of kind of takes a moment to uh, to, like scratch at his uh, his crooked nose, which you can tell it was broken sometime long ago. Mm -hmm. I don't know. So, they tell me you got some meat you want to be selling. Mm -hmm. uh, What's a stalking catfish? Uh, well, it, to, be, to be quick and concise, it is a underdark uh, fish that generally lives deep underground. It is quite formidable. Uh, and is been known to go to uh, known as an exotic food for uh, that some nobles do eat as a delicacy. The as you should know uh, from your experience, Master Dwarf, it is a fish itself, so generally high in protein but low in calories, making them great. Great food for those who do hard work. This establishment caters to both that of the flaunting noble and that of the hard worker, from what I've seen. Um, let's see. So, you're just making all of that up off the top of your head. Uh, yeah. So, I'm going to need you to roll me a deception check for that. Alright. That's an 11. Okay. Mm -hmm. Much as I like to take your word for it, I've been better than before by adventurers wanting to sell off whatever cock and maybe monsters they killed. You ever tried to cook a remoras? Uh, can I make a check to identify what that is? Re yeah, re uh, you, you would know what a remoras is. Okay. Uh, north enough. Yeah, you, you're, far, you're far north enough, you've heard of them.
that he is waiting for a response. Uh, yeah, I'm just uh, I'm just looking to see what a rem- Ramores is real quick. Uh, awesome what they are, but they are immune. They're known, they, they are hard to cook because they cannot be burned. Yes, they cannot be burned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, the it is true that a Ramores is quite hard to cook due to its fire immunity. Uh, mm. That being said, is the trick to doing it is cutting them open and cooking the insides directly and not having to deal with the hides. But even if you do that, you get the most leathery, disgusting, musky meat you ever had in your life. Hmm. Yes, it is quite hard considering that it is a that due to its heated body, it's under, its body is quite stringent. That being said, if you wish to examine the stalking catfish yourself, my compatriot has it just around back. Is this a fresh kill? It was killed just under an hour ago. Where did you find the thing? Hey. <laughs> happened to be going on an expedition to the Underdark, and it was an obstacle in our way. Go ahead and roll me a deception check again. Uh, can I get an advantage? Exaggeration. <laughs> Exaggeration. I'll, 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 I'll give you advantage, because uh, he, he does have a bit of an idea where that might be. Like, that's a plausible one. Okay, that's a 24. Okay. <laughs> the luck's <laughs> turning around. <laughs> ah, you was digging around in the mountain below the city, wasn't you? Yeah. Um, most, most feasibly. Well, then why wasn't that fellow at the Yonin portal? Why wasn't he looking forward to buying this from you? Well... To be honest, the entrance that we are using is not at the yawning portal. Ah, you're cutting them out entirely. I could just imagine him stroking his beard as he's yeah, like, I, I, he uh, is. Yeah, he is. Yeah, <laughs> as oh, well. Dwarves are, dwarves are good businessmen, but they are fucking hard to sell things. Yes, as well as we are not associated with the butchers' guild either. See, I see. But most adventurers aren't. That's why it's so tempting. Mm. I'll make you a deal. You let me cut off a small cutlet. I'll prepare it. And if I'd like what I taste, I'll buy the whole thing. If not, I'll compensate you for what I take. Assuming you gave me a reasonable price for a cutlet. I think that my compatriot outside waiting by the fish is much more um, learned on culinary arts as well as the price of meat. I will let him decide the price of a cutlet, but the reasonable price for the fish as a whole, I would say 150 gold pieces for the size of it. It is quite large. How large are we talking? Lo- About this big. <laughs> large, lo- yeah. large enough it could drag an entire heifer under the water. Oh, she's a big beastie, I see. All right, all right. I'll come and have a look. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and he, he waves you to come with him around behind the bar. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Aww. He's so proud of himself. Yeah, he's happy. Oh, happy. He's happy. Well, as, ha- as happy as Corvus can get. <laughs> the it's a good day. Good day for Corvus. And there's a new beast that is much stronger than the ones he normally deals with. Aww. Quick, somebody write it down before it goes away. Mm-hmm. Nope. Capture that small smile. Yeah, he, uh, Corvus, you see the door open and, uh, 
an old dwarf comes hobbling out with Lesla right behind him. I love the juxtaposition. Like, all right, fancy folk. Oh, <laughs> Corbin, the complete juxtaposition. <laughs> mm -hmm. He he doesn't he doesn't seem bothered yeah. by what he's seeing. Entry, you get the feeling that as soon as he heard like guild adventurers guild made the yeah, connection. That, that, that helps clear up a lot yeah. of weird people Yeah. Because he realizes the door's open, means they're coming for it. So he gives the dwarf uh, a nod. And we'll begin moving inside, unless he stop. Yeah. Unless it will hold her hand um, out. He, he doesn't let you in, mostly because this oh. thing will not physically fit through the door. I see. That's bad. The cold goes spread. It sort of sets it down again. There's a bed roll under it to try and keep dirt and stuff off of it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he uh, he walks in. He walks over to it. So your friend tells me he got a good cutlet of fish here. A nice. whole large beastie. Not. Now, Not would you be I, I, willing to let me try taking and cooking a cutlet of it? Just so I can see if it's up to snuff. Um, you understand what damage and meat will mean if you do not decide not to buy it, mean that it loses value if it, try, when we try to, if it tries to sell it in another place. I'm only gonna take a small piece. It shouldn't affect your price. Very well. If you want to try and insight that, you're welcome to, but y you've heard similar requests before with the weird things. What I have. Uh, I think that is... He just doesn't know about the compensation. Uh, very well. With dwarves, they are stubborn. But mm -hmm. with them, play a lot enough with them that show resolution, they are so, staying firm, but he's, he, he nods it very well. You may take a piece to try. All right. And he, uh, with that, without really pausing, he, like, lifts up his beard and pulls out a, a carving knife. Which he just has in a sheet, like a sheath under there. Hey, man, if you, if you got a beard, you add stuff in it, you know? And he, uh, he takes it, he, uh, he walks back inside for a minute, comes back with a cloth, and he's, like, scrubbing it with the cloth. And he actually very deftly cuts off just a very tiny little bit of it. So, if you didn't, like, uh, if you weren't looking for it, you probably wouldn't notice he did it, except that he's shaved off some of the, well, yeah, not the even the scales, they don't really have scales. Oh, okay. Yeah, catfish, smooth skin. <laughs> Yeah, ah. so he just kind of shaves away a little bit of the skin and takes off something underneath it. So, like, if you're really looking over, you can tell someone, like, yeah. tested this thing. But overall, it's it's still in good condition. And he'll take it back there. He'll be gone for probably about 20 minutes. Yeah, of course, we'll lean over the lens. Well. We imagine this is still outside. But after about 20 minutes, he will come back. Well, seems like you weren't leading me on. It's not a bad taste in the fish. Got a little bit of a jolt to it. Yes. Almost like you're throwing some good old ale in there with the meat. Yes, well, as my and you here probably mentioned, the uh, stalking catfish is known for its uh, electrical capability. You can Imagine actually see a few a... of the hairs on his beard are actually kind of sticking out a bit more than they should. Uh, imagine you could sell as a, a bit of a gimmick. A little I, I think I can get a good novelty price off of the thing. Yeah. You said you were looking for a hundred and fifty for the whole, whole beastie. That seems that would be the fair price for a creature this size, and as you can see, gestures to the fact that all the damage is to the head. You were able to keep the 
body of damage by uh oh so the all the useful meat is ready for cooking and store i i still at the same time i gotta make myself a wee bit of a profit don't i well what were you thinking of selling it for a bowl of soup or a fillet well i still got the bigger of that out and I got a story as well. What would you say to 120 gold? Hmm. Bump that down to 140. Go ahead and, uh, I think this will be a persuasion. Yeah. Uh, um,. I think I can live with that. <laughs> cool, we're showing After all, persuasion skills. Yeah. After all, you are kind enough to let me have a taste, which is more than some others would have done. I suppose I can respect the honor. And um, if we come across other such bad uh, beat such as this, or even more, you will to purchase. Future stocking catfish catchers, should we come across more? No, that I'll have to see about. Of course. Try out the meat I first. thought it was pretty good. But if no one else does. Hmm. But so if it does as good as I think it's gonna do, then you might have yourself a deal. Lesla will nod and say. Yes, it is true that not many people have the refined palate of dwarves. He he kind of like puffs up his chest a little bit, like clearly drinking in the uh like the uh the flattery. I that they don't All you gotta look at is how little of the dwarven ale we sell. Humans and elves have no taste. I will admit. Downright it, shame it is. I'll admit it does taste quite bad. Aye. You're a man who knows his stuff. Alright. Let me get your payment. You can count it if you like. And then I'll have someone figure out how to get the beastie inside. Well, if you can get some of the storing materials ready, probably, uh, uh, uh cut it in the alley and ideal, but... I got a big ice box in the back, I'll throw it in. Alright. It'll take up most of it, but I think it'll be fine. Of course not. But he does, uh, very shortly bring you back out, just as he, uh, said he would bring you back out a, uh, big, a uh, big sack of gold pieces. Corvus counts it. <laughs> uh, it is 140, just like you said. He has the last of the count as well. Yeah, as well. Well, we'll judge if it's a four, 140 just by the weight. Yeah. Yeah, feels about right. Mm-hmm. He seems to actually give you some respect for doing that. <laughs> Lesla grew up in a dwarvish society. This uh -huh. is uh, dwarves. Of course, has, has done enough dealings with dwarves to know how they function. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh. I usually sell to halflings and gnomes. They are much easier to deal with. Yep. Uh, Lesla will bow and says, "Is and we thank you for your business, Master Dwarf." Hey, I thank you for the deal. Uh, I'm going to need the uh, rope and head roll back. If you have a sheet, I can put it down. On. Ah, right. Um, he he does it. I eventually have a. It's a a pair of large half orcs who come and they kind of like oh. manhandle it through there. Yeah. Pleasure doing business. Hey, pleasure's all mine. If I may ask, uh, by when will this meet be ready for? Hey, 
think even a day. Interesting, that's it. Right, tell you what, you come in, and I'll give you a bit of a discount. There's no scan. It's only fair. There's no scan. Uh, appreciate the thought. He gives you a nod and heads back inside. Uh, once he's going, he goes to show he's gone. Uh, he'll like pack up the rope with bad roll, kind of flick the bad roll a little bit to try and get any residual stuff off of it. Pull uh, it back up. I'll press his you take his bed roll so he doesn't have to spend time. Yeah. Okay. So that went well. Yes, it did. Uh, well, for one of the ones in the North Ward, he ain't that. Getting bad in terms of business. Usually they're much more greedy. Oh, I think he was plenty greedy. I just think he's too old to. He's been around too long to care about haggling too long. Oils the meat, suppose. Besides, not all dwarves are money hungry. Some of them like gems. True. True. Some of them like other metal. Some of them like the fight. Yes. I'm very well aware the Silvery Empire is a dwarvish empire. Oh. So. Oh. Suppose you know how to handle you. Suppose you got the best train you can get. My smithing is based off dwarvish techniques that are shared through the Silvery Empire. And I. We also drink from a young age. Well, we drink from a young age too, but. What a down piss. Well, let's hope that the longer you're in the Mithril Scales, the less you'll have to deal with that. As, you, as you can I tell, I thought I, I drank dwarven ale once, but when drinking that stuff in there, I can tell it wasn't actually dwarven ale. Oh. Probably watered down, heavily. Well, I can tell you that that the ale that he serves is more than likely a little watered down. If we want to get the truest of dwarven ales, you must get it from the source. Maybe one day. Add yourself well on the hunt. Thank you. You are quite the unexpected person as well. I take it from you that's high praise. It is an observation. gold each, right? Do, 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 do. 100 divided is 20 by 5 is, fit, is 20 and then 40 is 8, so 48. Yes, that is correct. Which, I may have enough time to do something. I will need to check. Well, there's one more issue, if you wouldn't mind accompanying me for that as well. I could use your business sense. Um, we have more than enough time. It should take a few hours to complete the potions. Uh, Corvus pulls out the bobs. He's here still flow of electrical energy. I, think, I, I know we can do something with it, just don't know what. Hmm. Figure we might be able to find someone who can. So, 
people who transform monster parts into things are usually those with bones and pad and stuff. I have to find someone who works with the more Nordic parts. Yes. Hmm. Well, the first idea that comes to mind is making a whip out of it. But if we could... Uh, how long is the bob, actually? Uh, the barb itself is about five feet long each. Five feet long. A little short for a whip. But if we can extract the essence from it, we might be able to create a... item of resistance. Or... Most kind of looks at it and kind of looks at his hand wraps. We'll see what they can do. We'll about have to find someone first to see what they can do. I would pro. Yeah, because Corvus would do like people who work with me and people who work with hide, who work with bone, who work with teeth. He's never had this. This is, this is a new feature. Even poison glands are a thing of like, you can sell that to a poisoner. This is different than what he's used to dealing with. Uh, I well, don't think any of it, his contacts would, would know anything. Well, if I have heard of an item known as a cloak of... I need to check to see if that item is actually real or not. I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, but if we can extract the essence, we can put it into a fabric and say make a cloak of light shock resistance, lightning resistance. I'm trying to remember that. What were the places at the Avengers Guild? There was an Arcanist. Was a yeah, blacksmith, a treasury, and another place. I can't remember. Uh, let me. The courier service. Courier service. Okay. Mm, we can definitely consult the um, the arcanist. He is not magical in nature by himself, but he does have a great understanding of magical natures. Uh, for now, that should. I'll have, to, I'll have to look into it further if we go for future if we go on future hunt. But for now, an archivist might work if this is magical in nature. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I guess we head to the archivist. I guess so. Unless you guys plan on actually heading back. Um, well, I just sell us before it gets, it's flashy, so it'll rot yeah. if Hayden Corpse is back. <laughs> Unless we find a uh, box of chilling. But, yeah. Or we find a, a, a nice store that says, We take odd monster parts and make them into useful shit while we're walking down the street. Mm -hmm. Anybody has ice knife, just stab it. <laughs> freeze it over for a little bit. I mean, I do have ice knife prepared right now, so. It. Piercing damage, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, piercing damage. Uh, that being said, uh, Lesla will divide up uh, the parts for everyone's cut and will send the Raven and Cloud to deliver them. Ah. Along with a, it, it's a twenty-eight. Well, no, uh, 140 divided by 5, because technically speaking, Vinali was here, even though, you know. So, mm. me and Corvus were taking that into account. Okay. Um, that being said, that's happening. It's also sending a note, uh, letting you guys know we're visiting the Arcanist before we come back. Okay. Double checking, you said 28 gold pieces? Yes. Alright. Cheese is the richest of us all. 
Hell Lev's yeah, brother. Lev's, until Lev's needs to buy uh, spell scrolls. <laughs> I, I mean, I have a bunch of spell scrolls I have to put into my into my books. Right. So you need to buy enchanted ink. <laughs> yeah. Which, uh, let me double check to see which of these, I think, because I, it's actually cheaper for me to, I think, it, no, it's not. It's the same price. It just takes less time. I have to remember which rituals are not, are wizard rituals and which ones aren't to see, because it's faster for me to put a wizard ritual into my wizard book than it is to put into my ritual book. God. All right. Are you loading up the map, Shadow? What's going on? Or are you just waiting for us to be done talking? I'm just waiting for you guys to finish and letting you have your conversation. Okay. Yeah, I imagine, like, it's not like a. Because I don't. As Lin Cole doesn't necessarily talk to people, I don't imagine it's like there's much small talk. But you're heading back to the, the Adventures Guild instead of it's, back it's, to. It's, uh... Yeah, we're just going to quickly stop by the uh, Adventures Guild, okay. talk the Arcanist. The Arcanist doesn't. If Argus doesn't know, we'll just ask Margaret, see if she knows a place we can Yeah. Because she's connect, got more connections than we do. Okay. At the very least, the Arcanist can examine it and can hold yeah. on to it for us while we're on our quest. I gotcha. Plus, I can see how his uh, work on the, uh, on the Arcane Lock is going. Hmm. So you can go ahead and just move yourself down there whenever. I'm doing notes. <laughs> All right. No. Uh, but I what? got it for you, Corvus. I had to grab. I'll grab boy as well. Oh yeah, that would be. I, 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 to, I had. I, it took me so long. I was double selecting. All right. As we uh, enter, let's level up. And up. Announce their presence. <laughs> Sorry, I love I love stores with the little ding 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 ding. All my stores have it. Doesn't make sense for grief. He uh turns around from what he's doing. I'll be of help as soon as I can. Hmm. And he uh he's fiddling with a a scroll of some kind. And uh, after a few moments, he, like, he runs his hand across part of it, and you actually see the whole thing light up for an instant. And he seems satisfied with the result. Yes, how may I be of assistance to you? Um, Lesla will say is, um, we come here to see if you might have any inclination as to the possible uses for um, stalker catfish barbs. barbs stalker catfish barbs hmm. yes it's seen I can't say I'm readily familiar with their use uh, of course we'll actually pull them out so you can like, have a look at it mm -hmm. hand it to him he just pulls it out he takes a look at that and if you let him he will uh he will go ahead and run run his finger along one of the the length of one of them, just kind of get a feel for it, and take his hands, rub them together. After a moment of uh, like rubbing them together, like because there's a little bit of like, yeah, you, I know. general you said, mucus you said on it them. Buzz. You said buzz. So. Yeah, and then they do buzz a little bit. He like take, he takes them, rubs them together for a few moments. Like, he's not like looking at his fingers while he does this. It's just like. He's contemplating it, and after a while, he gives it a sniff. He immediately regrets that decision. Does he lick it next? No. <laughs> the sniff was enough. Ooh. Hmm. Huh. Well, they're definitely carrying a charge still. I suspect you could distill them into some brand of weaponry. With the proper technique. Though I would need to uncover what that technique would be. Not capable. What was that? They're not capable. As it stands now, no. 
It would take some time to learn and some trial and error, and I cannot guarantee that they will survive the process. Uh, but How much does this interest you? What was that? How much does this interest you? At the moment, I must confess it is not my top priority. Uh, speaking of priorities, um, how is your research on the arcane rock going? It progresses to a degree. <laughs> I have overcome the stumbling blocks when from when I last spoke to you. However, there has uh, there has come a new stumbling block. See, certain runes, when applied to them, are very similar to one another, and when you change the facings on the lock, they in begin to interact in different ways. Hmm. If you will kindly uh, bring your eyes to the ceiling. You look up, and there is a key lodged into the ceiling. <laughs> Some of them react very violently. Um, if I remember correctly, and you can correct me if I'm wrong on this one, colors have a big part to do with the runes. You generally need to have the runes be the same color throughout, correct? depends on the room, but that can be the case. What if you were to change the color on some of the runes so that if they were to risk interacting with each other, they would not due to the difference in the color? That is a possibility. It would make the mechanism itself far more complicated. Yes, but at this point, an arcane lock of this caliber isn't really asking for simple solutions. Uh, I would have to be... I don't know much, but if I have to make a slight complex change, and then looks up at the key embedded in the roof. <laughs> the ceiling. True. Though, at the same time, over-engineering magic can have disastrous results if it's not applied in the way it's meant to be applied. For example, should someone try to break the lock, I fear for the safety of whatever it may be guarding. Hmm. As well as the individual in question, but attempting to break the Ooh. lock would be an act of criminal uh, already, intent. So. It's already magical locks. So I need to improve upon it. Why have the dangers... Well, the point is to make a magical lock that does not outwardly appear magical so that people who see it don't immediately try to dispel it. Precisely. Let's see. Um, and that makes things overly complicated. And you just land the lock with lead. Not... See, that was attempted with mixed results. Lead is not a particularly sturdy metal. Uh, also, uh... Hmm. Uh, that being said, uh... If... We were to sell you these bobs, uh, going back to our original topic. How much might you be willing to buy them for, for your experiments? Frankly, I'm not sure I can find a use for them that I will readily invest funds for at this time. Hmm. Do you... I may know of some individuals who might be interested, and I can attempt to get in contact with them for you. 
less than that knowledge and says that would be very much appreciated of course I assume you will have uh, take some portion of a finder's fee uh, in contacting these people I have a standard fee of 10% for such things Fair. Less level nine. There's, that sounds a fair enough price. Um, we are about to adventure into the underdark. It's uh, into Undermountain itself. So, if possible, could we leave these with you for, uh, for caretaking as they are, well, organic in nature. It's certainly a service that I offer. Yes, of course. Service I have several implies. such items waiting as we speak. Certain service implies a prize. The price is my finder's fee when they eventually sell. Hmm. Uh, last one on and says, that is all is fair. Well, uh, if I you... Hand over the box. He takes them and he goes over and secures them in one of the... Uh, a locker that you didn't quite notice was there on the wall as he sort of presses a brick and it opens up. Mm -hmm. Leslie's not surprised. Also, what is this thing? What's the old? A attempted scrying device. Uh, only works if the individual on the other end is carrying the partner piece. Unfortunately, the partner piece proved to be very unstable. Is it that one? And she points to the one on the other side of the room. No, the partner piece now no longer exists. Turns out when exposed to high concentrations of magic and manipulation of the weave, it is very susceptible to alteration and ultimately destruction. So, so what do you have here that works? Oh. Well main point of all this is all experiment experimental if something works here it's usually brought out to the greater market that is precisely the case so you're the one who takes all the risk and then someone else makes all the profit I take all the risk and I sell the idea to someone who can make the profit I see I achieve a profit off of what they have and they are able to do far better with it than I ever could. Like a uh, guild fee. What was a guild what? A guild, a guild fee. In fact, the guild makes a lot of money off their workers having to pay them as well. Essentially. Yeah. That is very... Well, not entirely accurate, but a rather ac adequate approximation, yes. Right. Well, oh, did you know how to craft? Always reaches into a pants and pulls out a list that he was given. Perhaps you know where to find some of these. Remind me, which list was this? It's the list Leslie. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I just it goes just being very busy, so he hasn't been able to do anything. I, I gave it to you a day ago. I did ask about that, yeah. I'm oh, like, okay. Well, Corvus doesn't know that. So Corvus, uh, less, uh, as soon as you show that list, she'll just kind of rub her forehead and says, I already asked about that. Also, I think I only gave it to you like three days ago. I'll be alone. So he has like his own priorities, so not top priority. But also, you all did uh, confirm a place where you would meet up afterwards, correct? Yeah, at the, at the place. At the... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because I know Cheese and Sapphire wandered off for something, correct? No, no we're just they're, like... they're still close by. Uh, Cheese okay. just found like the nearest grass clearing and just laid down in it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, I thank you. Next her. I thank you for your time. Uh, we must be getting. We must be going soon, though. My compatriot is always waiting for us.
he uh, he bids you farewell and uh, goes back to fiddling around with some of his various devices. I like that every time Leslie comes into this room, he like he has a problem and she's like, well, you could just do that. Mm -hmm. Whether it works or not, we'll see. Yeah, you, you get the feeling that most of the stuff in here is a very involved process. And probably just as many of them are abandoned as ever succeed in a practical sense of the word. If we ever kill a seal, I'm take I'm gonna figure out what makes them able to swim and I'm gonna make a ring of swimming out of them. A seal? Seals aren't magic. A sea elf. Sea elf. Seal. Oh. I thought you said seal. That's got a lot of heart seal. <laughs> uh, I would do it to a seal too, so. Hmm. Oh. Anyway. Okay, all you need to learn is alt the self, and you can start applying that idea to your body. Anyway, oh, oh. getting what off that evil? topic. Anyway. About this point, the sapphire and uh, cheese. Mostly Sa Sapphire, you're the one hanging around the house, right? I'm with Cheese. Okay, so you're you're off in the field a little ways away. Yeah. Yeah. Then it's about at this point, um, Cheese, you're just laying down, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sapphire, are you, like, lying down as well, or...? I'm probably more sitting up, but yeah. Okay. If you're having a conversation, that's fine, we can jump into that but if uh, we determined we were just going to do a text rp okay yeah so then in that case uh it's about this time you would see that there is a another figure walking up towards the uh general area not towards the house but toward but um like looking around kind of the same way you were when you first came here Mm-hmm. do either of us recognize them you're you're pretty far away at this point. You can't quite see them. Like whoever they are, they have like a hood. They're they're like it's not That's robes. Sus. It's not robes, but it's like uh Jeez, we'll try to get closer. It's, it's like baggy clothing essentially. Mm hmm Okay. The the equivalent would be a teenager in a hoodie. Jeez, we'll try or to get a little any bit generic closer. Dude in a hoodie. I'm going to try and get a little bit closer to see if I can get a better view of what's going on. Yeah, uh, the I... one thing you do notice is that they have a very large weapon strapped across their back. Okay. I am going to be doing so cautiously and warily. I mean, they don't seem to be sneaking around. They just seem to kind okay. of be looking around the general area. Okay, but big weapons. Like, I want to get into a range where I can make like a perception check on them. Yeah. yeah get so, cheese, uh, by the time you do that, you do recognize who this is. Okay, and that would be... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, move everyone back to the uh, main water deep map. So Cheese can uh, recognize it, it the would be... man? Probably someone Cheese met without me. Cheese, cheese has passive perception that's a lot higher than yours. That's, you know, that's a great point. So Cheese is able to notice at first that this is in fact Zarfea. Ah. You just see her face go from intrigue to just annoyance. All right. Thanks for helping with the catfish. And she's she just turns. She just looks over to. <laughs> she just turns over to look at you. And starts making her way her uh, way towards the both of you. Uh, you do notice that's the uh, sort of like outer robe she's wearing. I uh, do seem to be new. Mm-hmm. They don't look particularly expensive. They look like maybe something she got fairly recently, though. Mm -hmm. She just gives her, like, the classic, like, looking at her face, then scanning down to her boots, back up to her face, back down to her boots, back up to her face, like, hmm. <laughs> um, if you're doing that, I want you, like, are you trying to divide, like, Game, glean anything from her or 
I mean, she's is very uh, she's very clearly looking over Sindris to see or Zarfaya to see kind of judgingly, but mainly just to kind of see anything about her as she's I'll go done. ahead and have you roll an insight check. Insight, all right. And I guess in the meantime, Sapphire is just gonna say, "So I take it you you changed your mind on helping us with the uh, search and rescue." I realized there wasn't much else I could be doing. Sapphire kind of shrugs because she knows how it is in Waterdeep sometimes. Um, as for cheese, you notice, um, particularly the way she is, the way she, Zarfe has a very distinct way she normally holds herself. It's very, it's mm -hmm. confident, maybe a little arrogant. And certainly not shy in any way. Mm -hmm. She, you get the feeling she might not understand what that word means. Mm. But her posture and her mannerism is a bit off of that right now. It's a bit more timid. In particular, normally she'd be talking to you standing there with her arms crossed. Uh, right now, she kind of has one arm sort of off to the side where it's not quite as visible. Not in like a threatening way, but more of in like a comfortable way. Mm. Like the one hand behind your back gripping the other one. Did something happen? No. You're lying. I didn't think you cared anyway. If you're going, if it's going to affect your performance, I will care. It won't affect you. You're not, you're not usually so timid. She does wince at that word. I'm fine. I'm not going to get in your way. I don't have any intention of getting in your way. I just decided to change my mind. She cocks her head a little bit. With with that check, you can tell she's definitely not giving you the whole story. Leaving something out is still lying by omission. There's not much more that I don't like than liars. Not everything is your business. When our lives are on the line, I beg to differ. Your life isn't on the line for me. Then whose is? Only mine. Hmm. I've made it very clear that I don't like you very much. That doesn't necessarily mean that I wish you ill, however. Where'd everyone else head off to? To sell the rest of the catfish. They should be returning soon. We she... have to swim. Yeah, you know she doesn't know what you're talking about with the catfish, but she also doesn't ask you to elaborate. Mm. A potion had to be made. We're going to have to swim for... I believe the time limit was half an hour or so. You do know how to swim, yes? 
I had to swim to that island. Remember? Oh. Uh, yes. Well, I suppose I have no further questions for you until you decide to tell me what's going on. She won't say anything else unless you start trying to pry something from her. She has her smile. I'm imagining uh, that it's a terrifying smile, if I'm honest. It's like a, I mean, it's a mouth-closed smile. Her head is cocked a little bit. Her eyes are closed. It's definitely a sort of like, mm, uh, so it's you're going to tell me whether you smile. like it or not. Hmm. Mm -hmm. She Very mostly avoids like eye contact vibes. with cheese. Yeah. Or even looking in cheese's general direction and just sits down on a nearby uh, field wall. Sapphire, if you don't mind, I'm going to check on our potions. You do that. Climbs up the wall. <laughs> Sapphire yeah. was just kind of standing there, sensing the tension rising. It's like, I don't know how to diffuse this. Mm. Yeah, she's going to stand and then return to uh, Klaus's little tower. And it's probably about this time um, that uh, Corvus and Lesla would start to make their way back. Lady Silverster, Zarfe is here, and you can probably get more information out of her than I can, but she's not in a good mood. Meaning she's not her normal self. Rick? My, uh, mic is muted. Uh, so, uh, well no, so let's let puts her, continues. <laughs> her hand on her chin and says, well, that's more informing than just her being in a bad mood. Zafé is always in a bad mood. This is... She's disquieted. It may have something to do, and Lesla will speak in a lower voice just in case. This may have something to do with her possession. Or haunting, whatever we want mm. to call it. I'll see if she's willing to talk to me about it. If she is, we'll learn more. If she's not, I will just have to assume that for some reason the spirit on her shoulder is forcing her hand. I was going to gather our potions. They should be ready by now. Hmm. Oh, it's a little forward, because of course it separate you drop to them and they'll together, so it doesn't really hear everything. <laughs> it might yeah. just leave me into the conversation. You walked up to us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um. It wants mm -hmm. to. Do, it wants to. Get it in. Co correct. Which means if she sits still too long, it probably gets upset. Yes. Imagine this is just to ease the spirit as well. It's. And I believe that the spirit, if I remember correctly, is capable of causing a great pain. Mental, physical, I am not sure. I'd imagine it sticks to mental pain. Oh. By the way, I will see if I can speak to her privately. Uh, hey. I don't think you'll get much other than her telling you what we've guessed. 
at the very least it will make things more clear so that we can act with greater knowledge and uh, less low information less low will uh, hold her hand out and grab uh, Cheese's sleeve slightly and say thank you I know you like her and so I figured it would be best I want to incite that thank you that tone of the different <laughs> uh, sure, you go can. For it. Sure, you can go for it. It was the tone of voice call I picked up on. All right. Uh, uh, yeah, definitely. Jesus or Leslie's? Leslie's. 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 You can okay. definitely tell that uh, Lesla, even around Cheese, had been more guarded, and but it seems that she trusts Cheese more than before. Right. It's like I pick up on tone changes as well, and I was like, "That's a different tone than she normally says thank you with." <laughs> <laughs> Corvus pays attention to things, so he knows it too. Yeah. Um. Corvus doesn't do anything; he just acknowledges that as uh, Lesla walks away. Boy will like nibble on cheese at one of cheese's fingers. Get that attention. Yes, little boy. Staring at you. <laughs> what is it, little one? You know that dog thing they want to play? Like, the leg forward? Cheese will use druid craft to summon a stick and then she's going to chuck it as far as she can. Yeah, he goes after it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going back to the alchemist's tower. You can find me. Make sure you ask about price. But we got him those scales, so he shouldn't charge us too much. Gills, he shouldn't charge us too much. Cheese will not. <laughs> Shrewd businessman, but never the one. I'll return shortly with the potions. Uh, and then Cheese will head on over to classes. I imagine he has to make the rope bridge again. Or rope yep, that's, ladder. That's fine. Knock, knock, knock. <laughs> yep, so, geez, <laughs> you, uh, you, uh, knock, and once again, you hear the thump, 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 the door comes open. Go away! Oh, it's you. <laughs> you should I know. I have a recommendation for you. Can I make a recommendation? No. Watch it. It would be most beneficial to your master and you if you wouldn't say what do you want. I recommend saying how can I help you. Socrates didn't say go, what do you want. Socrates said go away. <laughs> oh, he's not stupid. My recommendation still stands. Recommendation stupid. Go get master. Slams the door in your face. She like stands there with like a smile on her face, like, "I'm gonna kill this little shit." She reaches into a pocket. <laughs> no, th this is this is the reason why Leslie doesn't interact with the alchemist at all because if she was around that thing, she would firebolt it. I fucking love. Yeah, I love that thing of like, I want to come with you, Corvus. Oh, you want to talk to Magic Man? No, I want to come with. I want to go with Corvus. <laughs> Look. Socrates is in my top three favorite NPCs. <laughs> oh, if if Corvus would not be able to stand Socrates, <laughs> he has not met the thing. He's only heard it from a distance. <laughs> he already's like, no. <laughs> All right. Is boy next to cheese now? Oh no no no. He got, he, he, yes, uh, with the stick. Hey, the stick. Okay. Boy, can I ask you a favor? The, the little Look, guy who's yeah. a homunculus, right? Mm-hmm. Whenever that homunculus comes back out, growl at him, okay? Growl. Uh, hissing. Hiss he can do, like, a crocodile growl. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Cheese will give him a 
scritch scritch. Good boy. This is Anyways, while you're waiting on that, Lesla, you're going to go talk with uh Sarfea. That is correct. Okay. So she like I said, she's sitting on the uh the wall to one of these little fields, the one where this entrance happens to be in. Sapphire's just chilling by her. <laughs> um Lessa will uh guess stroll on up and say Ah, it's uh, good that you've decided to join us, Sophia. I decided there wasn't much else I could do. If you wouldn't mind, I would like to speak to you somewhat privately. Okay. And, um... Lesla, as she... Assuming that she stands up, will be watching her to see any you know, signs of body language with, uh... Of... Uh, that might indicate, you know, her not being her usual self. Uh, you're a little bit more familiar with her than anyone else. It's fairly obvious that she's off. Hmm. Uh, anything more than that would be an inside check. Okay, I'll try. I'm not the best insider, but oh well. Oh, that's 22. Did I argue? Okay, never mind. Yeah. So, no, uh, similar to she is, she seems more timid in her mannerisms. You can tell that. She is guarding herself. Her, her posture is different. She's keeping her head down more than uh, she usually does. Mm -hmm. yeah. Again, still holding her arm behind her back. You know, you know, like you have the one arm behind your back, you reach around and grab it with the other. That, that's what she's doing. All right, yeah. Every once in a while, you can see her rub it up and down. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, let's all just, uh, as she stands, uh, we'll say, I thank you for your time, and we'll walk a little bit away so that, you know, they're out of elf ear range. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at... Uh, Mentally looking at Sapphire. Please, I am a half elf. Get it right. You still have long ears. <clears throat> anyway. What do you get out of elf rage? You gotta get away from Cinder, though. God damn it. <laughs> anyway. So you lead her off a little ways. Is everything all right? Everything is fine. Like I said, I just decided I couldn't do much else. I don't know how to investigate in the city. I don't know where to start looking. And no one really wants to talk to Snow Elf they've never seen before, wielding a giant mace who doesn't know how to talk to people. That is entirely understandable. But if you wouldn't mind, may I see the arm that you're holding so tenderly? Roll me a persuasion check. All right. You will have advantage on this. Okay, let me roll again then. Be good though. Okay, twenty one. <laughs> she very it you you know this expression. You you've seen this before. That it's the same thing cheese makes when she's been caught uh, doing something she's not supposed to, and any child makes when they're caught when the parent catches them doing something they weren't supposed to or hiding something. This is the face cheese made when she accidentally ate the shampoo. <laughs> it wasn't accidental. <laughs> I 
wanted yeah, to it's know that what it tasted like. I'm guilty, and I know you caught me. Mm -hmm. But she Rocky does very Rocky. slowly hold it out so that you can take a look at it. Mm -hmm. She does have the, the long sleeve, the robe, over covering it. Mm -hmm. And I notice that this is a new robe. Her previous clothes didn't cover her arms, correct? They didn't. They were... It, it was more ar like just armor that covered the the essentials like it covered the le like it was some uh, some underclothes and it covered the chest it covered the back it covered the legs mm -hmm. yeah. and the shoulders but not so much the arms yeah. Lesla will uh, gingerly uh, start rolling the sleeve of the robe back so there's actually some pretty fresh burns that go pretty m all the way up to just about her elbow They're not really bad, but they're not... These aren't just sunburns, either. It's really noticeable on her, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, it, it, ac it actually is. Mm -hmm. As, uh... Lesla sees that, she'll, um... Take a deep breath and say, Is this from your passenger? I don't know what else can make the fire jump out and try to kill me. Mm -hmm. um, you know, just from a, uh, a, you know, from a RPG standpoint, would I know if these are, like, hit points uh, taken down, or is these will take a while to heal? Realistically, it's superficial. Realistically, it's superficial, okay. Like, like, it hurts, like and it's going to hurt like for a while, and it is actually going to hinder her ability to use the hand. But like that's about burns. it. Like oh. A first degree burn? Yeah. I've got a scar. It's just, it's like a warning. All right. It's yeah. just barely, uh, if if it were any worse, it would leave a horrible scar. It might leave some mild scarring, but it'll probably fade eventually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is very much a warning. Okay. Yeah. Um... In that case, uh, I'm not like standing in like a wheat field or anything. This is just like grass or flowers and all that stuff, right? Pretty much, yeah. All right. In that case, I'm gonna burn a spell slot here. Not uh, how we can you can choose not to, but we still just want you to do it. <laughs> hmm. You can choose not to cause necrotic damage to everything around in the area, but you you just like no fuck it, everything dies around me. Well, no, no, no. Yeah. Non magical vegetation always withers. Oh, okay. Yes. Gotcha. So that that's why I asked. That's why I'm always aware of uh, the vegetation I did, around I did, me. I never read. I never yeah. Read that yeah. So it, it always withers. So and that's, okay, that's and gonna, I'm gonna. Hmm? We're gonna probably notice that. Yeah. Yeah. No, everyone's gonna notice that. Everyone's gonna notice it. Yeah, but um, Lesla doesn't particularly care. Uh, as she says, is I much prefer. When you act as your proud self, Zafir. And it is quite noticeable when you do not. At which point, Lesla will speak arcane words as the life force of the vegetation around them withers away and effectively goes into Zafir to heal her wounds. Okay. There's still a mark there, but it is... So if you've ever burned yourself, there's like the raised white part, and then there's the red around it. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it, 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 it is now just the very like very thin red lines that kind of go up her arm. So it's, it's not fully gone, but it doesn't look nearly as painful as it did before. Yeah. Like whatever blistering was there is gone. It's just. Just some. It now basically is just sunburn. So it's it's still probably gonna hurt, but not as much as it what did before. Mm -hmm. and besides, if you are going to be with the mithril scales, you must be at one hundred percent capacity. I demand no less from the people that I think are think have high potential. 
and you can see her actually breathe a sigh of relief as you do that. Like, it's clear that that was actually really hurt. All right. And thank you again. Less uh, nods and says, You are one of my people, and I will do everything in my power to make sure that you have everything that you need. She doesn't uh, give you a verbal response, but she does not. Mm. And she does roll her sleeve back down as well. Yeah, I was at that point that uh, Leslie would have let go of her arm. Mm -hmm. And uh, then says, well, shall we go join the other son? Sounds good to me. Uh, as you guys get back to the group, this course is fine. Sapphire, the nearby Sapphire, not quite next to Sapphire. It's friendly distance. Yeah. I'll give him a nod of acknowledgement. Yeah. Uh, I know he likes his face. Yeah, you see, course uh, he definitely like looked over whenever the plant life started rotting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I did too. Of, like, uh, if Chatha makes any kind of motion, like she, course will just like give it dismissively because he kind of knew what was going on. I mean, I'm I'm not getting between that. I'm just raising an eyebrow at that and just you know, Let, copying that you, still Lesla. As you rejoin, uh, gives it gives Lesla a look, oh, like a look of like, is he been good? Doesn't does they clap? They no. I guess Lesla will just return the look. Thoughts. Gotta wait for the potion. Mm -hmm. Um, it is. Yeah. Should have bought the inks before I left. Oh well. Are you, uh, says, uh. up to it? It's towards level. Last level. Just nod. Because if you need a moment, that's just to the, the, the rotting, the rotted plants. It's just merely a side effect of certain spells. That's what I'm asking. I'll be alright. No need to oh. waste any more time than we've already done. Wouldn't want to go somewhere dangerous if you were not ready. I'm sure that my capabilities will be more than enough. Any who went on the mountain say that. Any don't come back. Yes, Corvus, but you must remember that the mithril scales are the few. That is yet to be seen. So, while that's going on, geez, <laughs> he does come, he, he, uh, us does come to the door, holding a few vials. Is Socrates there? Uh, Socrates is not. Mm, Rick is looking good. for Socrates. <laughs> oh, hooray, the potions are done. Yes, I was actually able to get them done a little sooner than I expected. Oh, wonderful. Now, um, my friends told me to ask you about payment. I needed some more anyway, and you have managed to get me far more than I needed for just a small batch. I think we can call it even. Oh, wonderful. I don't... I don't... 
It's thank you. Uh, Cheese would take them. Just make sure you're careful down there. Hmm. Um. What about our way back? Do we have to come the same way back, or is there an easier way? Do you know? Oh, uh, you can. I have a small. It's it's hard to miss. There is a lever down there. Mm. If you flip it once or twice, I'll know that you need to come up, and I'll be out oh. shortly. Wonderful, thank you. So drink half the vial to get in, mm. and the other half to get out. Mm. And okay. there's an extra for in case you need to bring someone with you. <laughs> we did end up having a, a well, well, another join us. Well, you also lost Liari. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah. So the the we have the five, and then we need one for the guy we're bringing back. And then we got the six for yeah. Drake and Clouth and the Raven. Well, the Raven's fine. The oh. Raven, I can oh, pop oh, into it. Oh no! Hang on. What am I gonna do about flowers? <laughs> yeah, he just stays up here. Unfortunately, he didn't know about him, so he couldn't. You couldn't prepare one for him. Would would a drop be able to work for him? Realistically, yes. He is small enough to where he could siphon off of some of yours. Okay, cool. Is, As uh, is Clouth. Yeah, I believe Clouth and Flowers are both tiny creatures. Yes. Yeah. Whereas, whereas well, considering, Drake, you know, is considering, as big as a wolf. Yeah, considering boy is actually flowers. not going to be able to get down there realistically. Uh, okay. Uh, poor boy. Well, he's and he's is hurt not anyway. going to go down there. Well, boy does oh, yeah, know Prince is still there. I think Cole's just been ignoring him. He probably, he probably I mean, it, it's, it's, it's been mutual. Prince has been ignoring you. It's yeah. a cat. He doesn't want anything yet. I feel like Cole is getting to this point like, yep, it's hurting him. He just does nothing. <laughs> well, no. I, it was I, your decision to purchase him. It was your decision to purchase him. Also, the agreement. Also, if you, if, you, if you talk about considering returning him, let's all just point out, you do know that having one of those around is not the worst thing. It, they can sense invisible creatures. There's nothing but eat food that he doesn't contribute to hunt. I don't take people who don't contribute to hunt. I don't get. How does he react to cheese? Uh, all right, Relda. Want to talk to him? Well, I have too many pets. I would offer to take him as having a um. God, I can never remember the fucking name of the flying cat. Tressum. Tressum. Having a Tressum around is not the worst uh thing, especially considering as we become more powerful and. I guess, Take I, I guess the question is, does anyone need a mouse I do that? Hmm. Um, why don't you ask Sapphire about it? Right there. It's not too far away. <laughs> Sapphire being able to hear this whole conversation. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was having a sneezing fit. What did I miss? Uh... uh Cause was discussing returning Prince because he hasn't been helping. Because he was literally, he asked for a hunting animal, and they said, Yeah, we got a hunting animal, and they, he has not done any hunting, so he's going to return him. And then like, Well, he could be useful because they can see invisibility. Well, creatures, Cause is like, I don't care. He doesn't contribute to anything I do. So I'm like, Well, someone else could take him off your hand. And Cause just went, Well, if anyone needs a mouse, so he might do that. <laughs> and my suggestion, because I have too many pets. Yeah. Uh, is Sapphire might need a, needs needs one. Well, there is a rat problem. <laughs> Sapphire is thinking this. I was like, well, there is a rat problem in uh, Guild and Glamour, apparently. Any way you can uh, send him over to Guild and Glamour. I think my brother should be working there today. Uh, I'll oh, write man. him a quick note. Except for Prince. Him in the eyes. A place called Gilded Glamour. Go there. And sets him on the wall. 
I, I'm going to quickly write the note because I was not anticipating Corvus to just give that demand so quickly. The cat understands Corvus, <laughs> so it, it's very intelligent creatures. Yeah. Trust yeah. very intelligent. They actually understand Corvus. Yeah. Faith. Mm. His name is Prince. I'll write you, like, what the message says. Okay. You I know. assume around this time, Cheese is returning with the potions. Yeah. About this time, yeah. You know, uh, since the the Drake cannot follow us down, you may want, wish to have the Drake guide Prince back to the Gilded Glamour. I don't trust him around the city vibes. Maybe. <laughs> We we send him in the city by himself. We come back. He's king of Waterdeep. <laughs> also, I don't think they'd let him in the gate by himself. Yeah, fair. Watch the entrance. Sith that to the tree. All right. Well, uh, uh. I have the potions and an extra for um, Vale. Hmm. Oh. All right. Well, uh, any special instructions with these ones? Drink half of the potion beforehand. That would get us through. Half of the potion whenever we need to come back out. Uh, there's a lever on the other side that will pull uh, to alert uh, Klaus whenever we are ready to return. Well, I guess we shall get on going, and uh, Lesla will. I really need to pick up a light. God damn. Okay, we have all we have all we have all, all knives. I think a few of you have dancing lights. Oh, yep. we also have all knives. Oh yeah. yeah. The, well, the thing was is I was gonna drop like drop something down there to see how long the fall is and whether it's water on underneath. To see if I could just jump down. Well, impact. I yeah. out of character. Sapphire knows this Tressum's name is Prince, right? Yeah. yeah. I think that's all you've been told. He yeah. did relay it that it was a little bit more than that, but yeah. 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 All right. Well, I guess we're climbing down the rope. I say, course, we go down first. Corvus, you could spider, you could Spider-Man down the well faster than we can climb the rope. Mm -hmm. But as Klaus comes over with the uh, rope, I do think that is where I'm going to call it for tonight. All right. All right. Okay. Yay. That stuff done. As always, have a good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you are. And remember to stay frosty. For those of you watching this on YouTube, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and ring that notification bell to get more content like this in the future. If you wish to support the channel or our artists, please view the links down in the description below.